Well, that's why we want to vlog it. Yeah, we got we got a lot a going lot. on, dude. Yo, uh, vlogging? A log going. What? <laughs> yeah, so we're taking apart uh, this here um, boat anchor. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's going pretty well. Can't get the transmission apart. All right, keep on heaving, bro. It's all decent. I'll force lift it up. Whoa, whoa, stop. <laughs> what are you doing? How are you doing hooking? I was trying. You didn't give me the chance. All right, dude, try it. I'm going to make it. Oh, this thing's salt watered together. Lift up, Alan? It's separate. Mm. Yeah. Well, you gotta start Alec did not succeed in getting the boat anchor apart. The motor and trans ended up going as one, but I know Dan Chow is inside working on his uh, vet for upcoming drift events. So let's go check on what he's doing. So what are we doing with yours here? Jesus. Yeah, so we had a great outing at um, the birthday bash deal. The thing ran great. So I decided to freaking rip it apart for no reason and add a bunch of parts on here. One really weird thing that I found on the car was there was this blue cord running through the fender well. And I was like, what the f was this thing, you know? <laughs> so I just started yanking on it to pull it out of the way of the headers. Lo and behold, when I pulled the header out, I started tracing wires and I found this pretty sweet thing that the previous owner did. So it looked like he probably had a problem with the OEM connector, so he spliced in a new connector, ran his own O'Reilly's wiring to this thing to directly to the ECU and had the crank position wiring sensor wiring routed through like the fender well and all the, all the way through here. So you're saying it was custom wiring? Custom. You didn't realize it was custom. Yes, this was a proper homemade race car back <laughs> before it's uh, days with me. So right now I just got like the header off, got the got this unplugged and then waiting for some parts to build a new harness essentially mm. so I can just deep hit it from the ECU side plug in the new pins route it to where I won't have to yank on it like a Neanderthal anymore and then loom it all properly with heat shrink so it doesn't get melted up by the headers these headers are way too freaking big too so they just touch everything which is pretty sweet but they're nice and big so hopefully I'll make some good power out of them oh yeah and so you're getting this ready for... Well, first we're going to go to the Heat Wave car show on the 25th where I can show off my sweet new paint job on this thing. From the side skirt I just showed oh, sick. at uh, Birthday Bash and then uh, the new hood I got painted for it. Nice. But yeah, going to be going to be stoked to hang out with the boys at Heat Wave on the 25th. Right after that, we're, just, we're gonna load this sucker off and head down to Salinas for Carlos's event at uh, Salinas for Drift Central. Key wave was sick. The Eisenhowers freaking killed it. Blakey killed it. The guy on the e-bike killed it. Everyone was just like shredding. It was like the most insane show that you could probably do in front of a business. Also, shout out to Carlos, his whole Drift Central crew, all those guys. I got to shred. I burned up two sets of tires. Had a great time. Um, got to drive with Matt and Alec and a couple of the Drift Central locals. I was, rarely does it happen, but I finally got to shred a couple laps with Carlos too and got some front runs in with him. You had a little contact. Until Alec brake checked me. There's multiple angles of this story. No. You're saying my Alec story. brake checked you. I had the best view. Okay. So I feel, and I'm a, a, a professional Formula Drift spotter, so well, you can take my word for it. Everyone sails it in and as soon as as soon as we initiate, I get a sick initiation. I'm just sick. And Alec throws it in. <laughs> and I'm kind of like looking through Alec because I'm waiting to pick up the throttle and I see Matt take off. And then I'm like, oh, Matt's going. It's probably about time Alec starts going and I pick up the throttle and then Alec just kind of lingers and I 
give them a little love tap. <laughs> and then as we're, we do a quick transition and we're transitioning back, and I look at his quarter panel and I go, holy, there's like a freaking crater. Yeah, I didn't realize it. So yeah. we, we actually finished off the whole run because I wanted to kind of see how the car was. My car was totally fine. That's how <laughs> soft the, the hit felt. But I was like, I want this guy doing on the brakes. I wanted to get your take on uh, Chow bumping into you. Oh! <laughs> I, heard, ah! I heard there might be a second, uh, a second side of the story. Second side of the story? There's only one side of the story. What? Man. So here we are at Drift Central, Salinas, California. Matt, me, Chow. Matt lights off right there with him. I stay consistent distance the whole way. I wasn't close by any means. You know, I'm not trying to destroy his car. I'd already crashed into him once that day. Matt initiates, I initiate, and Chow just, I guess he was following Matt, not following me, because he was like on top of me. So you did initiate. Didn't see me. You did take off. Oh yeah. Oh, it just kind of lingers. We got, I got the in car from both sides. <laughs> Chow just blacked out, that's what happened. He initiated and blacked out and just drove into Alec. But the Heatwave car show, freaking great. I drove my demo car in the street there and back. That's always fun. Driving a sequential, banging gears at the stoplight. You pull up next to somebody, like straight pipes, chalk. Just absolutely obnoxious and they look at you like, this guy's an idiot. You know, and I love that, I love that about it. Uh, I got to ride in the Eisenhower's truck. Awesome, something I've always wanted to do, and hopefully going to leeway into some cool content, some collaborative content with some drift guys, and some heatwave truck guys, and just all good things with them. Sky in the jump, big air for sure, freaking sick. And then Drift Central, getting to drive with Alec and Chow. I'm super glad that Chow showed up. Uh, those two idiots crashed into each other. Uh, Alec crashed into me too, freaking guy. But the funny thing, when Alec hit me, I was like, I was leading, but it's like, I hit Alec. I'm like, how does that work? But the Drift Central course was really, really tight. So kind of throw it into big angle, going around a tight corner, and Alec just was there as I I would transition to drift that way and then go that way, and then Alec was going this way. And it's just small area, you know, definitely. Because I enjoyed it so much. You know, it's a 40-minute drive from the shop. You can pop over in the morning, come back, and you know, actually enjoy driving. Diane got to drive the C5. We had our first tandem together, me and Diane. That's pretty crazy. A lot of firsts. A lot of firsts, this, this Drift Central. A lot of firsts. Speaking of that, this guy whoop, got to drive the C5. Yeah. His coat was co-piloting. Yeah. 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 Running. We, I wish we had in-car of that. We have outside video, which is great, which we'll show yeah. you now. But the in-car of me screaming at you would be good. It's great. You did great. It's You know, it's so funny. I was telling these guys, too. You don't even notice this because you're just so focused on like, all right, I'm going to do a donut. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do this, yeah. and then you know your your whole professional drifting career is running through your mind Flashing. as we're approaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you drove so freaking slow down the little chute <laughs> to get into the donut box area. I'm like, I want to scream at him like, yo, hurry up, let's go. We got to yeah. get the show on the road. But he was just he was just nervous. He drove hella slow because I could tell you're thinking. Yeah. You're thinking. When we got there, you did great. You did donuts. You dirt dropped, you, you, you figured it out immediately. Yeah. But driving there and driving so back, slow. you were, you were. Oh you were... <laughs> what you couldn't see was, I could barely hold that clutch down because my legs were shaking. So. Yes, absolutely, that. that never goes away. Yeah. The first the first drift of the day, your, oh, yeah. your clutch, your yeah. foot always shakes oh, on the clutch shit. pedal. Yeah, wow. it's awesome. Dude, the next, the, the progression is you go from donuts to figure eights. So you did donuts with no cone. Mm -hmm. Then we had the cone there, which you seem to like. Yeah. We did donuts in both directions, you got it down. Now we put two cones and you go from, one donut to a, maybe a wide donut, and then we can start transitioning the car. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's where you're like, all right, letting the wheel slide through my yeah. hand, throttle control becomes very important. Off the throttle, transition, on the throttle, catch the wheel. But that's the fun part. Do Some it. more lessons to come, I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy you got to experience it. Sick. Hell yeah.